So the next in our question answer vlog series is a question that's asked a lot online. There are lots of different opinions. Um, while we were at SHOT, we were fortunate to be able to interview three of the top barrel makers and got their opinions on, do I need to break in a new rifle barrel? So here are their responses. So one of the main reasons uh, you want to break in a barrel, the benefits of that are simply the first few shots really have an opportunity to leave a lot of copper inside the barrel. If you take the steps, the proper steps, to clean that copper out and any powder foulings, you greatly increase your odds of having a barrel you're happy with and performance you're happy with for years to come or for many, many shots to come. The biggest reason we want to do it is because we know there's manufacturing issues that happen. By cleaning out the barrel, making sure you're done, everybody's going to be happier. You will be, we obviously will be if you are. Now our method of breaking in the barrel that we suggest is mainly shoot one, clean one. We do that for about five shots. Hopefully what you're trying to do here is you're burnishing in the lead and throat area of the chamber. Breaking a barrel in is not near as much about changing the surface for the length of the barrel as much as it is breaking in the edges of the lead which are manufactured after the lapping process is done. Here at Shillam, we lap every single barrel we make, so the burnishing of the full length is not near as important. After you've fired one shot clean for about five, then move to a, some three shot groups. Use your cleaning solvent to give you an indicator of how much copper is being left behind. Usually it takes two to three of those three shot groups. I move to one more five shot group, again, watching my patches and my cleaning solution to see if there's a good indication of lots of copper in the barrel or very little copper in the barrel. After that, 99 out of 100 times, you can go to shoot the 20 shot strings if you want to. I just always recommend cleaning that barrel after you're done. My name is Wade Hull. I'm the president and owner of Schillen Rifles. If you'd like more information regarding our barrels or how to properly take care of a barrel, you can look at our FAQ at www.schillen.com. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm, I'm Mike Henricks from Krieger Barrels. We make single point cut rifled barrels in Richfield, Wisconsin. Um, we've been asked to speak about break-in procedures for rifle barrels. It is, a lot of people think there's no need for it. On a hand finish lapped barrel, there's really no need to break in the rifling of the barrel. However, the throat of the chamber area can require break in. Some barrels break in much faster than others. Our recommended procedure is really just a basic starting point. You can, uh, with stainless steel, it's a little bit quicker. Chromoly breaks in a little bit slower, a higher round count. With stainless steel, we recommend five to 10 shots of one shot and clean, cleaning all the copper, powder, and carbon residue out between each shot. Watching the patches, seeing how it cleans up. If you're still getting a lot of copper out after 10 shots, do another five shots of one shot and clean. After that, you should be able to switch to a two shot group, two or three shots, and then clean, do that twice, and then a five shot group and clean. Most stainless barrels are broken in much quicker than that. Uh, chromoly, you usually need to double the, that round count. The main focus of break-in on a hand finish lap barrel is the throat of the chamber. There will be machining marks from the chambering reamer that are perpendicular to the direction of bullet travel. And what you're doing is knocking those high spots down during the break-in to reduce copper fouling. When you start cleaning the, pat cleaning the barrel with patches um, and you're reading the patches, they're coming out very clean, then you're done breaking it in. Uh, if it only takes one or two patches after cleaning for the, your one shot and clean procedure, you're pretty much done breaking the barrel in. Uh, for solvents, we recommend just using name brand uh, gun specific solvents. Uh, try to stay away from automotive chemicals household cleaners, things like that. They can do damage to the barrel or they can do damage to your stocks, your finishes, things like that, that you're not aware of until it happens. Uh, for more information, you can see our website at kriegerbarrels.com in our frequently asked questions page. We have a very detailed break-in and cleaning procedure and you can read more about it there.
One of the most often questions that Lothar Walther is asked is, do I need to break in the barrel? Do I need to break in the barrel through a shooting regimen? And the question is both yes and no. It depends on what gun you have. It depends on how the gun was made, is it a custom gun, or whatever. Basically what break-in does is it adjusts the surface of the barrel to the riding surface created by the bullet as the bullet goes down the barrel. And so whether the barrel needs to be broken in or not is basically going to be controlled by how the barrel was made, who did the chambering, what degree of finish was done, and things like that. So basically, on a custom gun, very little break-in is needed. It's not too bad to have some. On a factory gun, perhaps more will be needed. And you can determine what's needed or what has been done by when you first get the firearm, you take it to the range, clean it properly, make sure the barrel is dry. Don't put anything in the barrel. No coatings, nothing whatsoever. And shoot five shots. See how the accuracy changes over the five shots. If the barrel starts walking, if you start getting other things happening, then you may have an issue. And at that point, clean the barrel. When you get through cleaning the barrel, dry the barrel. Leave no ammonia in the barrel. And if you have to, clean it a second time with a non-ammonia carrying solvent. Diesel fuel works best, mineral spirit works great, all of these too, and they're low cost. So you can break the barrel in, and in a case where, say it's a factory gun of some sort, it's good to I mean, fire five shots and see over the first 50 rounds, is there an accuracy improvement? That's the barrel breaking in, and it, sometimes it takes 100 to 200 rounds to fully break in a barrel if no, no work has been done. So the point I'm trying to make is, if we're machining a barrel, we're going to hone the chamber. There's a honing process done to the chamber. It goes onto the shoulder, into the throat, and that creates a unified surface for the barrel. If we supply the barrel to the gunsmith, the barrel's already lapped at that point, but the chamber polishing is done by the gunsmith if he puts the chamber in it. So there's all sorts of combinations, but it's easy to test for. <clears throat> so as you shoot the weapon for the first time, look and see what it's doing, and you can shoot and clean, that's okay. Do not use an ammonia bearing solvent during break-in, because if ammonia is left in the barrel, the breakdown of the ammonia can cause an acid to be formed, that will eat into the barrel and you can etch the surface of the inside of the barrel. That's very bad, so please don't use any ammonia bearing solvent on your first shooting. <clears throat> then start shooting it, shoot a few rounds, see what happens, and at that point the door will open, you'll know how much work you've got to do, if any, but if the gun has been made properly and everything is set forth at that point, there'll be very little change and you'll break in over 200 rounds, and at that point the gun will be as accurate as it's probably going to be, but <clears throat> enjoy shooting, enjoy spending time at the range, it's very relaxing, and keep shooting. Thank you. So a special thanks to Schillen, Krieger, and Lothar Walther for their help in this. If you haven't already, please click the red button to subscribe to our channel. Um, if you want to see our first Q&A vlog, you can click the one on the left there. And on the right will take you to our playlist of the 2016 SHOT Show new products that we're rolling out. We rolled out a couple of videos last week, and we'll have more coming out this week. In the meantime, um, if you'd like to discuss this more, you can head over to Varmeter.com, where we have our forums, as well as other articles and videos. Thanks a lot for watching.